Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in crypto current digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, it's all about votes, V-O-A-T-Z dot com. It's about how blockchain voting is absolutely here. It's going to fix fraud, excessive waiting, and transparency in the election process. So this isn't something you can invest in. This isn't something to make a bunch of money off of, but it's one of those projects that is going to change the world. I got a chance to sit down with the CEO, Nimit Swani, and he told me all about how how this is going to work, how it's going to affect everyday people in the future, and what the progress already is. They've already been a part of 70 different elections, but that's not the problem. Their problem is the amount of people, politicians, and the FUD that is being spread about this project. This is quite a long interview, so we're going to go over just the basics today before we jump in with Nimit. So let's get going. So let's take a look at the market, shall we? It is uh, October 29th, it's 1.45 p.m. I just interviewed Nimit around 10 o'clock, so I need to get this out. So what is happening in our market? Well, Bitcoin, as predicted, took a little bit of a tumble. Uh, actually, I think it was below 13,000 for a little bit. Now it's above, uh, it's around 13.5, up 2.5% in 24 hours or 5.6 for a seven day. People were talking about if Bitcoin can just get above 14,000, there will be no resistance when we go to 20,000. Well, that's <laughs> not how it works. So Ethereum down to 390, but hey, it's almost a 400, so I'm pretty happy with that. Tether's hitting at a 16 billion market cap. XRP, still pretty stable, around 25. Bitcoin cash down, uh, Binance coin, Chainlink, everything's down. Let's just say everything's down. That's just what the truth. Crypto.com is up, congratulations. Um, OKB is up a little bit, who cares? Dai, Nem, uh, Ethereum, Cla <laughs> Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic with their multiple 51% attacks, amazing. And Celsius Network, of course, they're up. When I really want to get into it uh, as heavy as possible, that's when it goes. But that's just my luck. Remember, dollar cost average, everything should work out. Uh, UMA up 5.7. Uh, so yeah, about the right. Yearn down to uh, 12%. Before we get into the interview with Nimit, let me just go over the big stories in a very, very, very condensed version. So this was crazy. Uh, Michael Saylor, the CEO of MicroStrategy, he personally owns $240 million in Bitcoin. That's a lot of Bitcoin, not just uh, part of his subsidiary or the company, him. He owns a quarter of a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. I mean, I thought that his uh, company buying 430 million was a ton, but I guess that's not the big story. The big story is this guy really likes Bitcoin and really believes in it. So hats off to that guy. Michael, congratulations. Also, Binance is in trouble. Well, that's a bummer. There was a document called the Tai Chi document that reveals uh, Binance is elaborate elaborate scheme to avoid the regulators. So real quick, what's happening here is that there's two Binances. There's Binance Global, essentially, and there's Binance US. And they, they made Binance US to pretty much appease the regulators. Well, there's a Tai Chi document. And this was out in like 2018, which a slideshow uh, believed to have been seen by senior Binance execs is a strategic plan to execute a bait and switch. While the then unnamed entity set up operations in the U.S. to distract regulators with feigned interest and compliance. Measures will be put in place to move revenue in the form of licensing fees and more to the parent company Binance, I guess Binance U.S., into Binance. All the while, potential customers would be taught how to evade geographic restrictions while technological workarounds were put in place. So it uh, looks like somebody got their hand caught in the cookie jar. We'll see how that all plays out. They asked for a response, and of course, Binance is like, we're not answering that. So we'll see how it all goes, but uh, not a good day for Binance. And also in the biggest news of potentially the whole day, or maybe the whole week, uh, Avante unanimously wins a Bitcoin banking charter. This is Caitlin Long. She's an ex-Morgan Stanley exec. She's a really smart lady. She's been into uh, finance for you know her entire career. And she is the second special depository banking license in Wyoming to provide fiat and Bitcoin cryptocurrencies and digital assets. So they are falling on the he heels of Kraken and the dominoes just continue to fall. So congratulations, Caitlin. Great job. She even states right here that this is a two and a half years culmination effort to get to today. So again, there are no overnight successes. There are successes, but they take years to do. So congratulations, Caitlin, and to the Avanti team. So those are the big stories. Let's get into my pet project voting. So 